climbing on large boulders either for practice or as a sport in its own right without the use of a rope or harness. What's up you guys and welcome to another video. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. I'm packed up and heading out on another camping adventure. This time my buddy Andre is going to be joining me. I'm actually right outside his spot waiting to pick him up. Uh, we're going to head out on the National 7 Highway direction north again to the area of Clan William. We're going to spend two nights at an awesome spot called De Pakes. It's right up in the mountains. It caters for the rock climbing community. And having had a look at the website, it looks like a stunning place. I'm super excited to check it out. I have seen lots of photos on social media of recent snowfall in the area. So it would be an absolute bonus if we get to see some snow as well. Weather forecast says sunny days, no rain, mild wind and a low of 6 to 10 Celsius. Uh, so we should be pretty comfortable and um, I think the plan right now is just to get Andre, get onto the road, get to the location and have some fun. So please enjoy this video with us. Cheers. Hi everyone, what a pleasure this weekend out with Jason Kemp on a camp for two nights safari where we've been thankfully sponsored as such, thank you sir and yeah, just looking for what we can do for tourism in the years to come when our borders finally open up and Jason and I can work again so Jason thank you for creating this opportunity, <laughs> giving me the chance and let's go make the most of it Andre's excited <laughs> <laughs> and like me he's very much into the outdoors and nature so like I said in the beginning we're both super excited uh, to check out this incredible spot the Pakes and uh, I think it's going to be fun um, and cold <laughs> You can stay there. It's perfectly fine. Just walk fast, yeah. All right. So we've just arrived. We've had a walk around to see some potential sites. Uh, we've settled on this one. A little bit of wind coming through. Um, pretty far away from the ablutions, but I mean, there's plenty of bush around us. Should we need to go? Um, tents are going to be over here where Andre is now. Uh, the fire pit is a little bit close, so we're just going to move it a little bit down. And uh, I think at this stage now. The plan is just to get camp set up as soon as possible. I don't know if you can see this, but let me try and zoom in a little bit. There's a rock climber right up at the top, sitting on the ledge. Just see his head popping up. And uh, this little spot does cater for the rock climbing community so there's quite a few tents here quite a lot of climbers and I think tomorrow the plan is to actually head up into the mountains and see if we can try and film some of these guys there we see him just coming down over the ledge so there we go camp is now set up uh, I've got the top 
as a lean-to type configuration with the bivy under it but uh, I'll take you for a closer look around the shelter in just a bit. I'll tell you one thing, I'm hoping that this wind does die down because um, it'd be nice to make a fire tonight. I'd, I'd really like to get that steak done. And I'm sure we can, even this wind, we can make a fire, Jason. Yeah, it's just, it's lacquer if it's, if it's calm. Yeah, of course, but it's not going to be... You don't want to jump around the fire, the smoke blowing in your eyes and... This isn't wind. <laughs> Dude, this isn't wind. Oh, I know. I'm quite happy with the setup though, eh? Yeah, yeah, me too, eh? I mean, fucking I'm very, <laughs> I'm very keen to try out this thing tonight. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to toss and turn in there, but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to feel quite um, uh, confined and restricted, but <laughs> we'll see. Mm. Was that the first camera you reviewed? <coughs> this one? Yeah. It was a Canon, I remember. No, I didn't review it. Um, you made your first video on it? Or? Yeah, I tried to... I tried to review it. Um, I filmed the video, but I took it down because I realized I had no clue <laughs> what I was talking about. No, you didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't have... Dude. No, having seen other videos out there with camera experts, um, oh, yeah, okay. I realized, God, I look like a tool. So <laughs> I took the video down. But, you know, making videos, it's a process. And mm -hmm. that was obviously in the beginning when I was still learning, you know. But I've come to the realization I'm not somebody to do like proper tech reviews. I, I'm not a tech guy. But. Give me a product, let me use it, and I'll tell you if I like it or not. Uh -huh. That I'll do. But when it comes to tech reviews, no, there's other guys out there that specialize in that. That's not uh -huh. what I do. But yeah, I, this was the, the camera I've had from the beginning. Since then, I've got the other one. Mm -hmm. And I lie, actually. I had the GoPro from the beginning. <clears throat> yes, this chick has rocks out there. Stunning. Yeah, I think sun's dropping fast it's going to be an awesome sunset the yeah. wind's dropped as well eh? yeah absolutely Fair i just enough. realized that now check here not a breath of wind it's mm. absolutely perfect yep. man it's going to be a stunning in the stars tonight are going to be oh, out oh absolutely dude i need some photos of of the stars like, mm. i may just fucking lay outside take my tent and lay outside under the stars <laughs> it was not too cold and just it was probably going to be cold the bugs will be out. No, I don't think it's going to be cold tonight. It's going to be crisp, but it's not going to be cold. But that's not going to be nice enough for me to lay outside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want to sleep outside anyway because of bloody ticks and spiders and shit. But at least we don't have to worry about snakes. Why? It's too cold for snakes. Okay. For you. Yeah, you're right. They die it. Steak, some red and green peppers with garlic and uh, potato and onion. Yum. So you've got meat, you've got sweet corn, yep. you've got peppers, onions, breads, yep. garlic, sweet potato, mm -hmm. and noodles. Well, I may not have the noodles, that's just <laughs> as a before and after. I don't do dessert, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> now that the sun has set, we can take a better look at the uh, setup. Um, this is the 
Austrail Swift Pitch Bivy and uh, she's set up under a lean to configuration top. Pretty excited to check this out. I've left the fly off, so plenty of ventilation. And the sleep system that I'll be using tonight is the lightweight uh, backpacker blow up insulating mat along with a lightweight sleeping bag with a positive five rating and of course my creature comfort from home the fluffy pillow but all in all I think it's uh it's looking pretty good and I reckon I'll be perfectly fine and uh, I'll let you know in the morning just what I think about this bivy Oh, the steak is tasty, eh? Mm. Mm. Do you like at least a little piece of the roll? Mm -mm. All right. No, thanks. Yep. There we go. Nice and soft. I, now you see, your light's a lot brighter than like, mine. Like that. Okay, but you, you're doing this. <laughs> That's all I'm seeing. <laughs> oh. All right. Is that better? Yeah. Can you see me? Not really, but anyway. Should I use my light rather than my big light or what? No, it's fine. Dinner is done. And uh, we just had a cup of coffee now. And I think very soon we're going to call it tonight. Yep. <laughs> so, until tomorrow morning, good night. Good night. People laugh at you. Fucking call this a fire. <laughs> No, well, we've already recorded the fire, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. Morning, guys. Uh, we made it to day two. Super cold last night up in the mountains, and uh, lesson learnt, I brought the wrong sleeping bag. Uh, this is a sort of cheaper brand, and although it has a comfort rating of 5 Celsius, uh, the cold did come through. So tonight I will definitely be using the sleeping bag inner as well. Um, very happy with the insulating pad. This is the second time I've used it on the ground. Uh, this is the Backpacker Lightweight Insulating Pad from Cape Union Mart. It's a lot thinner than my Thermarest. It's about two centimeters thick, but it's also a lot wider than the Thermarest. And the advantage there is I'm not balancing on top of the mats and having to worry about rolling off. Um, absolutely no cold coming through from the ground. so. Uh, I think this will be my go-to mat in the future. Uh, in terms of the bivy, uh, you either like it or you don't. And um, after spending a night inside this bivy, I have to say I'm super impressed. Really love it. Uh, this is something I can definitely get used to. And it's definitely a setup that I will be using many times. Uh, perhaps uh, beach camping. Yeah, there's, a, there's an idea. But um, super snug. It's like being inside a cocoon. Um, I did leave the fly off last night because I have the top over me anyway. Um, but check this view. This is the view that I've had the whole night, looking up at the sky, checking out the stars. Absolutely incredible. Also waking up to that sunrise with the red across the mountains. This is what it looks like inside. A uh, little bit of condensation over here, but um, that is to be expected. But other than that, what a way to wake up. So plan now, cup of coffee, get moving and start our day. Did it boil? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no place to charge my batteries, so when this battery goes, I'm going to have to switch it out to the GoPro. What? It's what your last dude. Yeah. First, thing, first things first. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. <brother>. Yeah. <laughs> the bacon can wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
No, I do my national tours, eh? This, this, this is the food pyramid. <laughs> when, when, when I get to the end of it, I'm so sick of food, eh? I'm tired of baking in the mornings, you know? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I hardly ever do it at home. But after being 18 or 21 or 24 days on the tour, it's like, no, fuck it. Oh, yeah. That's from the otter trail. <laughs> Why are you bring pilchards? Fine, I did. It's easy it's in a tin. Good lord. Well, that was from the otter trail pack. <laughs> I had it in the cupboard still left. I thought, fuck if I'm hungry on the or something. Uh... <laughs> pilchards. <laughs> what are you? So you don't eat pilchards or? No. <laughs> okay, so for breakfast, we're going to be doing some bacon, cheese, peppers, and garlic. On a bun. Nice. So there we go, there's Andre getting ready to make his uh, breakfast buffet. Insane amounts of food, but uh, he's a growing boy. <laughs> Needs the energy, I guess. But um, Andre, if you don't know, is a backpacker slash hiker. And uh, he recently did the multiple day hike through the world famous Otter Trail. Uh, which is further up the east coast. Um, I know that he's got quite a few photos up on his Facebook page, so if you want to check them out, I'll leave his details in the description down below. Uh, click on the link, follow him there, and uh, leave a comment or two. You ready for breakfast, Andre? Yeah. Huh? Big day today, lots of energy, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even with those pilchards. Yeah, <laughs> still left over from the otter trail. Yeah, pilchards. <laughs> oh my god. Nice yolk on those eggs. Yeah, me. Breakfast of champions, dude. Yeah? Mmm, stuff it out. Let's squash that in there. And then we need to get the egg in there too. Yeah. How are you talking? Ah, uh, yeah! Mm. Ah. Mm. Nice! Breakfast is done. We've just left camp. It's about 10, maybe closer to 11. Uh, we're doing a hike up into the mountains to go find a waterfall. And then we'll go look for some rock climbers as well. But uh, it's already pretty warm. I think it's going to be a hot day. No wind, sun's out, uh, definitely doesn't feel like winter at all. Uh, just a quick look at the section that we've just walked through. 
pretty dramatic, quite spectacular, and already quite a few climbers that have come through. That was a pretty cool walk there. It was, eh? Oh, it's a beautiful place. That's why I hate the leaning pot. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels nice. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Fried up corned beef, some red and green peppers, some garlic, and then uh, just to finish off the two eggs from this morning. Oop, ah, yum. Don't ever underestimate or underrate a meal like this. Mm -hmm. Fried corned beef is the bomb. Hmm. Who says bully beef is a cuck meal? Mm -hmm. eh? Look at this, it's going to go golden brown. Mm -hmm. and it's going to suck up this, these garlic juices and... Yeah. What are you recording? Yeah, you just fucked it up.
Mm. I'm trying to get um, a mouthful of everything here, but it's, it's not going to work. <laughs> hey? Yum. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Stunning. <sighs> Motherfucker, it's bright. It's been an awesome day. Um, pretty cool hike up into the mountains this morning. Just chilled out in camp this afternoon. Had an awesome meal, got a decent cup of coffee going, and we're just going to hang out by the fire and chill. Um, but we'll see you again in the morning. Cheers, bye. It's actually a month of expiry. <laughs> or best before. They make your shit. <clears throat> nope. So, like that. I bought a mix box, so that's why I've got these different flavors I'm mixing together. That variety box. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I only do this stuff when I go hike. Oh, and mornings when I go hike, thank you, sir. Uh, let's do that quickly. Is that alright? Yep. You sure? Yep. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Ah, the cook is on the fire. It's too much effort for me. <laughs> well, is that and this is my bowl that I Ah, out okay. Of. No sugar, no water necessary, this is perfect. It's really mixed a bit of sugar in us, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah. <coughs> Andre doing his dishes on the rocks. Oh, that's fancy, little uh, squirt bottle there. We'll try it. Eh? But I do think you overpack. Yeah, I did. Mm. I did. Um, particularly on the food. Yeah, but food but is food is forgivable. Little, uh, food is forgivable. And it never it never goes to waste. No. Quite a bit of dew last night, so of course lots of condensation, and uh, we are ready to break camp. But at this stage, we just want to hang everything out to dry, and uh, I think we should be out of here at about eleven.